you know, tell that average person that doesn't know a lot about tap, sit down and watch it. Just sit down and watch it and see what you think. You know, we could, uh, we can surprise you a little bit. <laughs>
everyone, the staff, the students here for welcoming me to join them and, you know, just being dancers. My name is Justin Lewis, uh, 23 years old. Uh, I'm a tap dancer and a teacher and performer, a tap teacher here at Studio Moon and Act. The thing that I love about tap the most is that I can take any feeling or any vision that I'm having in my head and be able to put it out on the floor. It's, it's that way for any type of dance. Uh, tap is just a little bit different. Uh, we, make, we make rhythms with our feet, rhythms with our hands and our body, percussion. We, we do tons of different things that uh, enable us to be able to portray our passion in certain ways. I'm completely and fortunately blessed with being able to work with the kids here at Studio Wood, uh, where they have such an open mind and open concept where they can come in and, and want to learn want to want to do different things about with tap not only just tap but their other styles of dances but um it, you know it's great having having somebody like kim uh kim rishi who owns the studio to be a mentor to me as well help me out and and figure out ways to better myself and better my art form you know i i the thing that i love the most about teaching tap and teaching kids in general is that uh, I is that I get a I get a great uh, a great feeling that I know that I'm teaching somebody else the passion that I started out with when I was five years old is when I started out and I took it day by day step by step and uh, wanted to become a better tap dancer and that's what I'm teaching these kids now if their goal and their dream is to become an amazing tap dancer and to become the next Gregory Hines the next Savion Glover the next uh, the next Chloe Arnold, Maude Arnold, uh, I mean Diane Walker, all these, all these brilliant tap dancers out there. If you want to become it, you can become it. And there's nothing stopping you is, is my main goal. That's the feeling that I get every day when I walk into the classroom and step foot in front of these kids is that's my first motivation is to tell them that tap is important. If you want to do what you want to do in life, not only just in tap, but in life in general, you got to start with a passion and of course hopefully if they're in the classroom with me that passion is down.